Hey guys and welcome back to Chill Vibes Only. Today's video is all about the window of tolerance, which has been super, super helpful for me in addressing anxieties and understanding, you know, how I'm feeling in a certain situation or during a certain period of my life and things that I can do to help relieve anxiety, um, things I can do to help get myself back to my, you know, regular state, I would say. I don't like saying the word normal because there's so many versions of normal for so many people, but your own normal and your own regular state of being. Um, and I just find that when we have words to label how we're feeling in like stressful situations or if we're going through life changes, it helps us, or at least it helps me feel more grounded and secure in myself um, and kind of acknowledge what I'm going through and then work through it and use certain tips and strategies to make it better. So. Today we're going to be talking about the window of tolerance um, and hopefully this helps you if you're going through a hard time right now or if you are looking for ways to deal with your anxiety or um, any like hard life changes or pressures. Um, this really helps me so yeah I'm hoping it helps you as well. So basically the window of tolerance, um, you can imagine it actually as it sounds which is just a window um, and everybody's window of tolerance is a different size. So you may have a really big window of tolerance, which means you can handle a lot of shit. Um, other people might have a really small window of tolerance. Um, your window of tolerance is affected by your life um, and maybe certain um, conditions that you have. So for example, um, if you're on the spectrum or if you have autism, you might have a smaller window of tolerance if you have anxiety or have any mental health problems, um, your window of tolerance might also be a bit smaller. So basically what happens is we all kind of live within our window of tolerance and that's our, you know, regular natural neutral state. Um, we might feel really good in there, we, you know, we feel in control, we feel like we got everything going right for us. But if life starts to happen and stressful situations start to happen, so for example, you get in a fight with somebody. Um, you know, you might start to rise above your window of tolerance a little bit. Uh, you might, maybe you lose your job, another rise above your window of tolerance. Um, you know, maybe you're going through a really hard time uh, with an emotional breakup above our window of tolerance. So what first happens is when we leave the window of tolerance, we usually go above it. Um, and that could be, you know, triggered by any sort of life situation that's causing us stress or anxiety. Um, and once we're above it, we kind of go into these like hyperactive modes. So we may, um, you know, be trying to fix everything or, you know, everything feels really chaotic right now. So, um, if, for example, at the breakup, maybe you haven't actually broken up yet, but you know, you feel something going on, you know, the energy is different in the relationship, you don't know what's happening and you're trying to fix it and save it and you're doing everything that you can, um, to, you know, to, to keep this safe. Um, um, that's kind of you above your window of tolerance. So you're really working here. Um, you feel, you know, overwhelmed. You feel like things are out of your control. And you'll only stay in this high version for so long. Your body can only withstand it. And once you're in this high version for too long, you actually then drop below your window of tolerance. So that's when you kind of go into the state of where you feel really tired and you don't have a lot of energy and you want to stay in bed all day and you feel sad or you know very numb um, and that is an indicator that you're below your window of tolerance so that's kind of how you can um, figure out where you're at and basically the goal of being in either of those two situations is just to bring us back to our normal window so if you're flying above the window of tolerance and you you know you're in that kind of hyperactive mode you want to be doing things like yoga practicing deep breaths slowing down journaling, talking to someone, like really finding ways to kind of sink back into a calmer, more um, slower state to help get you back into your window. Um, if you, you know, were up there for too long and this has happened to me so many times and now you're in the low part, um, you want to do things that are going to help spike your energy again. So, you know, going for a run or a walk, um, getting outside, talking to people, moving your body, um, anything that you can do to kind of lift you back up into your window. Um, the window of tolerance is just a part of life. Everyone's going to go through it. You're going to fluctuate. It's helpful for me to know, like, 
especially when I go into the first bit like oh I've been feeling really like chaotic recently I've been feeling like I have a lot of things on the go um, I'm gonna take a moment to do yoga tonight or to meditate or to take a deep breath um, or to have a therapy session like whatever it is to help bring me back down I find that is an easier shift for me versus when I go into the low state it's kind of hard to bring yourself back up right because you feel so drained and exhausted from being up there for too long um, so it's just all about acknowledging where we are in our windows um, and trying to, you know, get ourselves back to, this, to the center and being super compassionate with ourselves and others because like I said, everybody's window of tolerance is different. You may have a giant window of tolerance where you could be hovering up here doing everything and you're still within your window, but for somebody else, that's like way too much for them. So just having compassion for ourselves, being as empathetic as possible for people around us as well um, and just understanding that everybody operates differently and if you have a smaller window it's okay just use these tips and tricks to help kind of bring you up back into that window that makes you feel safe and secure um, and in control of your life so I hope you guys found this video helpful please give it a big thumbs up because that really helps this channel and subscribe uh, we do videos about sex relationships mental health all the things on here so if you're interested in um, connecting with us more please give us a follow and a big like and thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you for another video shortly